The Baselinker system allows you to create invoices and receipts. You can also create a sales register for your documents. Thanks to Baselinker, you can also send your sales documents to an accounting software. To add an accounting program to the Baselinker system, go to the Integrations tab and click on Add Integration. At the bottom, in the Accounting section, you can see all of the 34 integrations. You add various integrations in different ways. We'll start with QuickBooks. To add this integration, you simply click on this tile and go into the integration panel. To connect your account, you need to click this green button. You will be redirected to a page where you simply need to log in to your QuickBooks account. Once you've logged in and added the integration, again in the Integrations tab, we click on the QuickBooks setting tile. Let's have a look at all the settings and parameters of this integration. First of all, we need to choose if the numbering of our invoices should be imported from our QuickBooks account or if it should come from the Baselinker panel. We have two drop-down options here. We can choose the Baselinker numbering or the one from QuickBooks. Then we need to decide whether we want to forward invoices automatically. This means that any invoice created in Baselinker would automatically straight away be created in our QuickBooks account as well. The client will receive as an attachment to an email if, of course, we've pre-created such an email template, an invoice which we will have in our QuickBooks account. Then we decide whether we want to display to the customer the invoice from Baselinker or QuickBooks. We can create the invoice in QuickBooks, but send the Baselinker invoice to the client, or we can send them the one from QuickBooks if we choose Yes in this box. In the email template, you can use this link and then the client will be redirected to the page where they will see the QuickBooks invoice if you've selected yes in this box. Provide the name of the customer to QuickBooks. Here, we can choose yes or no. Provide additional comments in the invoice. Which price to pass on net or gross? whether to send the product code to QuickBooks. We can pass on the SKU through which QuickBooks is able to recognize the product. Forward payment details. Then, we need to decide how we want to pass on information about products that QuickBooks can't recognize with the SKU. If we say yes, then we'll get a Dropbox of all the types of products we have in the QuickBooks system. They will of course be visible here as long as we've connected the integration to our account correctly. At the end, we need to save the changes made on this page. In the next tab, Export Documents, we can export invoices from the Baselinker system to QuickBooks, which were created earlier on, prior to adding our integration. If, for example, we want to send through archived invoices so that they're also available in our accounting system. The next tab connects series of invoice numbering. Those we have in Baselinker and those we have in QuickBooks. We can change individual settings here of each numbering sequence. At this moment, we have two numbering sequences in the Baselinker system. The main one, and one labeled with number one. In each case, we can go into further settings where we can decide if for a set sequence of invoice numbers, we want to use numbers from Baselinker or those from QuickBooks. As you can see, these are the exact same settings we had in the global settings section of our integration. The very last tab connects types of payments. Here we have payment types from the Baselinker system and those available in QuickBooks. Once the integration is linked correctly, they will appear in this drop-down menu. Remember to always save the changes made on each tab once you're done.
let's see what other integrations are available. Let's go back to the accounting integrations and see what other options we can add. In case of a different integration, for example, free agent, to add this integration, we click on its tile. We go to its settings, and just like with QuickBooks, we need to connect with the integration by logging into our free agent account. Another popular integration is the Zero integration. To add this integration, we need to click on its icon, go to the settings, and here, as you can see, we also need to connect by clicking this green button and logging in to our Zero account. Once the Zero integration is added to your Baselinker panel, you'll notice some additional tabs here aside from the standard ones, which were also in the QuickBooks integration. We have an additional tab, Prices and Stocks. This is because the Zero integration allows us to send information about stock levels and prices from the Zero account to the Baselinker system. Like with any other synchronization of stock levels and prices, we can choose the frequency of the synchronization, and here you'll find information about any previous synchronizations. The other tabs, like Series of Numbering, Export Documents, and Connection, refer to the same options we had in the QuickBooks integration. So the most important questions being if we want to automatically send the invoices to the system, and if we want to use the series of numbering from the Zero system or the one from Baselinker. All your created invoices can be found in the Orders tab under Invoices on the Invoice tab. If you selected Automatic Sending of the Invoices to the Accounting System, then the icon in this column will mean the invoice has been sent to the Accounting System. If the icon is grayed out, it means the invoice has not been sent over and you can do it manually. If you didn't set the automatic invoice sending and you want to do it manually, you can do it here. You can also check if an invoice has been sent to the accounting system in the order list. Go to the orders list and click on the order. Here on the right next to the standard invoice number that was generated by the Baselinker system, you'll also find the invoice number generated by the accounting system. For example, QuickBooks. It will be visible right next to the Baselinker invoice number. 